Hey everybody, it's your girl Tavan Schaichi of God's Heart Mission. Um, I hope that everybody's good. I hope that you're well. I really have a quick word. I just finished my workout, so I'm gonna go, yeah, freshen up and everything. But the Lord just kept dropping this verse in my spirit, and it's something that I feel like we need to bear in mind as um, there's so much changes happening in the world. Governments are shifting. There's just a shift from shift from shift from shift, okay, because the Lord is doing his thing. Um, if you could turn with me to Romans 13, 1, it says, Let everybody be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. By the way, my name is Tavans Haji, and welcome to God's Haram Mission. Um, so basically, um, I'm sure many of us are aware um, that the U.S. is facing their election in November. There's so much going on in India and Bangladesh. I don't know if you guys keep up with the news. We still know that the Ukraine and Russia war is still happening. We still know that uh, Israel and Hamas, you know, there's still war there. There is just so much. In many other parts of the world, there is just so much going on. Wars and rumors of wars. That's what the, the Lord told us, you know, that we should expect these things. Nonetheless, I'd like to remind you and me, especially those who are called into intercessory ministry, we need to pray. We need to be on our knees now more than ever before to pray for the governments of this world, to pray for the nations of this world. And what we need to pray for is to have the will of the Father, you know, happen in all the nations of the world on earth as it is in heaven. And um, I'm reminded by the, the story of King Saul, you know, just when he was about to be appointed, how there were many events that led to his appointment, right? Um, if you are familiar with the story of 1 Samuel, um, I can't remember the chapter, you're going to have to go and read it for yourself, it's quite lengthy, but I'll do an extensive teaching about this later on, hopefully today or tomorrow, um, but I just want to make a mention of it quickly. But basically, uh, it was Prophet Samuel's two sons who were governors, I would say, of the land at the time over the nations of Israel and eventually the people of Israel because of their conduct came and said no um, same way we don't want your children anymore to be you know um, put as authorities over us um, we need a king for ourselves okay get us a king basically and then Samuel went on to pray to the Lord and said God your people are looking for a king what do I do and then the Lord said no problem uh, don't take it personal. I'm paraphrasing hectically, fam. Don't take it personal. It's me that they are rejecting. So it's fine. We will give them a king, but let them know what, what that comes with. You know, let them know what they should expect once a key is, is, is um, put over them as, as the head of authority. Fair enough. Um, then Samuel went on to tell the people that since you're looking for a king, know that this is what you need to expect. A tenth of this, of your life, your livestock, taxes, you know, all sorts of things. You're going to have to read it, fam. But I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to teach on this. Then eventually, um, the Lord said, I've heard to, pro to pro Prophet Samuel. Once he, Prophet Samuel has spoken to the people, he came back to the Lord and said, okay, God, how do we move? And then the Lord said, no, um, I will get them a king. And then that's how the uh, soul was elected. But it's a beautiful story. I would encourage you to read it. Um, and we know, fast forward to that, once Saul was put in place of authority, he was king over Israel, he rebelled against God, and because of disobedience, he got booted out of that kingdom. God literally kicked him out, okay? And Samuel came to tell him that Samuel, the same Samuel who anointed him as he was following the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Because God then had um, appointed for himself a king, one whom we know we're talking about, right? King David, um, one who, whose heart was after God's. So there's a lot of that going on, a lot of changing of guards, and God is removing people from uh, positions of power and putting his own, right? Because God doesn't know what to do with a heart that's disobedient. He can't work with a heart that's disobedient. So what we ought to pray for is for God's will to take place within our government structures, within our leadership, within organs of state, etc., etc., across the entire earth all of the earth. Pray for your nation, but also pray for the nations of the world. Pray for your president, but also pray for presidents from other various parts of the world. It is so imperative because what we want is God's um, chosen leader over every single nation and not so much what the people want. So in this story, why I'm mentioning it with um, Saul's kinship as that to David, I'm mentioning it because the people wanted a king. And God even had to change Saul's heart, the Bible says, so that he could walk through him and, and, and direct his steps, etc. And then with King David, King David was already sold out for God. So when he was sitting there being a shepherd, he was already 
after God's heart. He came in hot, he came in ready, and he was God's choice. Now, I'm not saying that Saul wasn't God's choice, but there the people had some level of, we want this, because they are the ones who initiated that they wanted a king. They didn't want to have God as king over them directly, as it has happened um, many years before. And they want to have king because they even said that we want to have a king like all the other nations have kings. It's essentially saying we want a president like everybody else has a president. Um, but what you want is, is a, a, a president or a king whose heart is already sold out for the Lord. So we need to pray for God's choice. Okay, in all these critical positions, in all these leaderships. Okay, we need to pray that the will of the Father takes place. That's all I feel like the Holy Spirit is saying at this point. And it's just coming from this verse, um, Romans 13, 1, which says, Let everyone be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. So we want the Lord to be the one establishing these authorities and putting these men and women in this position of power. Right? So please, fam, um, this word is like so intense. But I'm going to do an extensive uh, uh, teaching on it. So if you want to stick around, it will come up. Um, because there's just so many things that the Lord was highlighting as I was studying that story. Um, that he was ministering to my heart, which is little key points, you know. Um, but it's almost like prayer points as well. But I'll make a mention of it on the next teaching. But I just wanted to encourage you. Intercessors, we are called to pray. Let us do that. Okay, we are called to intercede, intercede and stand in the gap. So as you pray for presidents of, of, of this world, let's pray that they are the ones whom the Lord has selected. They are the ones whom the God of glory has chosen. We're not going to go with what we want, um, but rather go with God's choice because God's choice is always the best. So I'd like to encourage you as you pray, let's lift, you know, all the leaders of the world um, up to the Lord, and and if He has to change hearts, God gotta do what God has to do. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, fam. Thank you, Jesus. So with that, I like to love and leave you until I come back, probably a little later on. If not, it's going to be um, tomorrow. Because yeah, I just want to make sure there's just so much in that teaching that I have to be sure that I know what I'm talking about, all right? Like if there's more that the Holy Spirit is to reveal and download, I need to give Him time to do exactly that. All right, fam. So it's my cue now. Time for me to be out. Um, I had the gym all to myself today. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. No, not really all to myself. I had the Lord, you know, the Holy Spirit and, and God with me. Um, the Lord Jesus and, and, and yeah, my crew. <laughs> my usual crew, but you know what I'm saying, fam. Anyway, that's besides the point. So pray, 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 and continue to pray. Pray without ceasing and pray from the place of knowing that God hears our prayers. So we're going to lift up our nations. We're going to pray for our communities. We're going to pray organizations, institutions, every single fragment of society, but we have to also pay special attention to the leaders of this world. Very, very important. Like, yeah, I'll leave it there, fam. Remain blessed until such time that I'm back here again.